Is there a time limit on cheating? That is the email that we received. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means either, but I'm hoping the email will explain. Like you can cheat in the first 90 days. You're on the clock. (laughs) Get it all in. Hey, Burt Show. I'm hoping you might be able to help me with the situation I have recently found myself in. I would like to keep my name anonymous as I'm not sure how I should move forward through my feelings on this. Essentially, I'm wondering if you think there is a time limit on cheating. I've been in a relationship for over 10 years. Long time. Recently found out there was physical cheating within the first few months of the relationship. That happened 10 years ago. And then an online situation a few years ago where he was sharing pictures online with an individual he knows offline. I don't know the extent of any emotions evolved. My partner recently admitted this to me, and I really don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this. Obviously, I'm hurt, sad, and embarrassed, and I also feel like the relationship has been built on a lie. Had I known about this at the beginning of our relationship, I would have ditched the relationship with him, and who knows where things would be today. I feel like if it was just at the beginning, maybe I could let it go, chop it up to the long distance we were in, but the online thing was following the birth of our child. Oh, damn. I was in a really bad place, as it was a traumatic situation. Since he waited so long to admit to this, I feel like he thinks he is free and clear on it. Why admit to any of this at all? Because he's selfish. Is there an ulterior motive that I'm missing? There have been no problems in our relationship as of late. Things have been good. So appreciative of any words of wisdom you may have for me, Anonymous. Dang, why would you bring it up now? Because like, his, his his conscience, conscience yeah. was crushing him, right? I could almost see like the first couple of months, you know, oh, I'm not really sure what we are. So, you know, but the last one here following the birth of the child and it was just a few years ago and they've been in this relationship for 10 that to me is a way larger it is. offense um but it was all online right uh-huh there was no physical stuff it was, it was just, just sharing of photos yeah i mean you can't i mean you can't debate how you're feeling about it i mean you have the right to mm-hmm. be upset about it even if it happened a decade ago so you can wipe that one clear yeah, I don't think there's a statute of limitations on cheating. Like you mm-hmm. can, you are entitled to feel some way about it the moment you find out, regardless of when it happened. And I think what's worse about it is it kind of shows a pattern in his behaviors because both things happen. I understand trying to reason with it though when it's in the first few months, but then you mm-hmm. think about those first few months and how you were like in this honeymoon, like joyful period, and the whole time behind your back he was cheating when you thought you were both like in that honeymoon period together. All of this was happening. I understand, like, getting in my head about that. But I do believe somehow there's a time limit on cheating. Like, I don't think that one counts. It's the one that happened right after the baby. And I, you can't do the what ifs. Like, had I known about this 10 years ago, we would have broken up. And where would my life be like? That's mm-hmm. You're just doing yourself a huge disservice by doing that because that's not what happened. Mm-hmm. So now you just have to deal with the information that you've been dealt. Um, and I'm with Davi about the most recent infraction. Uh, also the fact that you have a child together now. Like, I used to be one of those people that want to cheat or always a cheater. Leopard can't change its, or is a cheetah, cheetah can't change its spots. Whichever one has spots, leopard or cheetah. <laughs> they both do. <laughs> they both do. Uh-huh. Um, but I've had friends who have been in situations and they've come out on the other side of it. Uh-huh. So I'm, I'm no longer like so black and white about it because I know things are complicated and they're, they're, they're deeper than just cheating, not cheating. So I think you can come back from this, but make them pay. <laughs> <laughs> Milk it for uh-huh. everything you can. Like, you got to earn that trust back. Yeah, I mean, that's what a mature relationship is all about. Making them pay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the Bird Show.